Hey everyone, my name is Eric Nowastowski with Clay.com and today we are going to go over our Built With integration and all of the cool things that you can do with it. Now, the Built With integration will require a website in order to work. So if you don't have a website in your data set, refer to one of our other videos about how to find a website from just a company name. We've got some great ways to get that if you don't have that inside of your data set. Now, if you do have a website, we can get jumping right in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull up our uh, Enrich data and we're going to go to our built with lookup technology stack right here. From here, we're going to enter our company domain. So that is just in website. And so I'm going to show these things after we just get started. So the first thing we're going to do is save changes and we'll see what this looks like when we run it without entering any website. So when we run this without entering a website, Look at all of these technologies that we find. We are now getting a list of every technology that is on the website. This is a great intent signal for you to know that a company is investing a lot into their marketing, into their team, whatever it might be. The more uh, technologies they have installed, the higher budget they probably have. So this is one great uh, integration to be able to look at for things like that. And then you can get a drop down of all of the different technologies that they are using. So let's even look at something easy like blog. Okay, so they're using WordPress for their blog here. If you wanted to know what kind of uh, technology everyone was using for their blog, you'd be able to map this to the table. Now, let's say that you were looking for only companies that were using WordPress for their blog. All right, so now we can jump in and let's add another built with integration. So let's map the company domain. And now here we're gonna put in WordPress. And we will get a score of companies who are using WordPress as a technology on their website. But then there's gonna be something else that we're gonna go over after that. So now we're gonna run this and see how sometimes we have 25 keyword matches for WordPress. Hmm, why is that? So now we know that these companies are using WordPress, but what capacity are they using WordPress in? Well, WordPress has WordPress plugins. They have WordPress uh, CMS. They have WordPress widgets. They have another CMS. They have widgets, all of these different things. So what we wanna do to refine this search even more for very large technology companies that have very different products, we would go into our settings and remember WordPress before was a blog. So now what we're just gonna hit is blog. And so we're gonna look for any WordPress technology that matches the category of blog. And we're gonna be able to refine our search a little bit. Now we'll hit all 250 again, and we'll see what this looks like. So as these start populating, see how the numbers went dra down dramatically. Now we know that they're using WordPress as a blog. And we can look in and we can see all of this in here as well. Now notice our last det detected and first detected is in here. A lot of times this is very interesting to know that a company has been using a technology since here they've been using WordPress since 2017. A lot of times that can make a difference in your prospecting efforts. Did they just install the technology or have they been using it for a long time? Could make a difference. Notice how in matching technologies, oh, well, we don't have a matching technology here. But notice how over here, when we did not combine using a keyword filter and a category, we did not get the first date uh, detected and then the last date detected. We don't get those things when we're not using a combination of a keyword filter and a category. So if you want those things, make sure that you're using the keyword filter and the category, otherwise it's not gonna show up for you. The other thing that you would be able to use this for is anytime you are looking up and you wanna know that companies don't have a technology. So sometimes what I'll be doing is I'll jump in, oh no, we, we need website, that's funny. I'll jump in and I want to know do, what companies have DMARC. And then uh, DMARC is an MX technology. Oh, no. DNS? Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we're about to find out what kind of technology it is. So we will run this again. And I want to know all the companies that don't have DMARC. So see how there's no keyword match here? They do not have a DMARC policy this company. See, I, I said MX, didn't I say that? 
you guys will back me up later. I guess the category is actually DMARC. I apologize. So now I know all these companies that don't have the technology. And so if they don't have the technology, I want to filter them. So what we can do is we can create a new column of all of the people who have DMARC. And then we would just filter this by name. And then we want to say is empty. And now these would be all of the companies that do not have DMARC. And so this is a little rundown of our built with integration and some use cases that you can use it for. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the space below, or you can join our community at clay.com backslash slack. I hope to see you there.